Now, your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. We've got a, a nice evening out there visibly, but a chilly night if you're actually out in it. Always looks good from the uh, interior of your car or out from the living room window, but you step outside of these partly cloudy conditions. May be beautiful, but they uh, come with a little bit of a bite to them with those northerly winds still blowing through. We're watching this cloud cover building in, some light precipitation developing over the central Rockies. That's a developing system that'll impact us for Halloween. It does not look to be a big push of lots of precipitation, but as we look at future track, clouds may start to build in late tonight into the early morning hours tomorrow. The clouds return. And those clouds build in along with a little bit of light snow shower. Or what will likely happen, while it's cold enough up overhead to support snow, it's going to melt as it's coming down. So it could be a mix of raindrops and half melted snowflakes as it pushes across during the afternoon and very early evening hours. Of course, that is the time that a lot of people like to get started on trick or treating. It's going to be a chilly Halloween, no matter how you look at it. But I mentioned it's a beautiful night out there when you look at it. Gorgeous view from our Prairie Band Casino weather cam and a few clouds still scattered up overhead in Manhattan as well. Currently in Topeka, some scattered clouds. 46 feels like 38 because of a northwest wind at 21. That 46 is now our new low for the date. We started this morning at 47. So we continue to see colder and colder air moving in. It's down to 39 now at Marysville. 41 for Hiawatha. 40 at Concordia, and winds haven't let up yet. We're still talking anywhere from most areas 10 to as high as 22 miles per hour. And those north winds creating wind chills in the 20s at Marysville, 30 for Concordia, about 40 for Emporia, and 38 at Topeka. So definitely a chill in the air as those cold winds blow through. Now, here's a look at the actual air temperatures that we expect by later this evening. Falling back in the low to mid 30s and then into the 20s tomorrow morning. I think we'll hit 40s tomorrow during the day. That's out ahead of any precipitation that starts spreading in during the afternoon or early evening, and that'll knock temperatures back down into the 30s for trick or treaters. So you kind of have to plan accordingly, costume wise, knowing that, well, in the morning it's 24, so if you're sending them uh, with their costumes all day tomorrow at school, it's going to be a cold one. Uh, but even during the day, 44 rain or snow showers doesn't look to be a lot. We're talking about light precipitation, just the fact that we're getting that on Halloween is kind of the interesting part to that. Uh, the upper 30s, though, for trick or treating hours before hitting 30 Wednesday morning. Then we start to warm up 58 Wednesday, 65 Thursday. We cool back a little Friday and then warm up again as we head into next weekend by Sunday, should be nearing the 70 degree mark. There's a look at the sunset from Vicki Schwita taken at Oskaloosa yesterday evening. Uh, again, some uh, gorgeous views with these scattered clouds around. But all in all, it has been rather chilly uh, today behind that front and chillier for tomorrow. And that's the big bummer part because tomorrow is Halloween. I know. And we don't have a lot of times uh, this time of year where a lot of people are trying to be outside. But obviously, October 31st is one of those days. A little bit of spinning of sprinkles or snow. Maybe kind of a bit of an interference, but hopefully you can still enjoy it nonetheless. All righty.